Applied materials shares bouncing around here in overtime after reporting a beat on the top and bottom lines just moments ago, giving mixed guidance. You can see shares are down fractionally right now. Joining us now is William Blair analyst De Jed Dorsheimer. Jed, it's good to have you on. Your initial takeaway from these results, which do seem pretty strong with commentary about the role that AI will play over the long term here uh, in fueling demand. Yeah, thanks, Morgan. It's uh you know, we got in line, basically in line out of these guys. And, uh, you know, it's been a strong stock. We have a market perform on it right now. I think the key message, given the commentary from Intel and expectations around TSMC, is what is uh, wafer front end spending look like for semi equipment? Um, and here, you know, there's going to be a lot of eyes, uh, including ours, on China and, you know, what the health of that um, region looks like. And whether or not there's a bubble or uh, or that's going to be sustainable into uh, into 25. Is AMAT in a position to, I guess, for lack of a better term, de-risk its business or its portfolio away from China or does still so much of it hinge on that? No, I, 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 I think that I think that would be very difficult for most semi cap equipment companies. I mean, um, that's a that's an area of Asia in particular and China uh, also. Um, I just I think that would be too difficult. OK, the fact that we had Chips Act funding denied to mm -hmm. applied materials, how much is that going to matter? How much does that put CapEx into focus, for example? Yeah, not as much on the CapEx side because that was for an R&D center. But we will look for commentary in terms of what that means from applied on the on the call. And certainly it's going to have an impact on jobs and going into an election cycle, you know, uh, I'm sure there'll be, you know, many talking about that uh, from an actual impact to uh, to apply. We're, we're going to have to see. I don't think it'll have a huge impact, though. Do we fully know the impact? I mean, you, you touched on it just a moment ago, but do we fully know what Intel making cuts and having its own issues is going to mean for applied materials and, and, and for others in the space yet? Yeah. So to be fair, I don't cover Intel. However, I think just from a pure WFE perspective, Intel's cuts take down overall spend by about six to seven percent. So it is a material impact. And when you look at where that is being made up, largely that's coming from China. So that's why the eyes are going to be on, you know, uh, do we have TSMC that's able to step in and make that up or or is it mostly going to be China? And right now it's looking like China. Got it. Read through to other names, whether it's the semi-cap semi equipment names or whether it's some of the semiconductor stocks, the chip makers uh, as well. I mean, listen, uh, we got in line in line on a name that's increased and expectations have creeped up quite a bit. So my guess is you probably I don't think you have any wild reactions. Of course, we got to see what's uh, I got to join the call here in a minute. We'll see what hmm. they have to say. But um, right now, I would not expect any uh, any uh, large moves in the uh, in the sector is a read through. Okay.